Hello, hello, good evening. I am so grateful that you are here with me on this wonderful day. Welcome, welcome to our classroom. We are glad to have you here. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We are commencing the class at this moment. It is truly a pleasure to be present here with all of you. Let's get started. So hit the play button and tell me, inform me, type your location in the chat box now, specifying where you're from and where you currently live. Today's topic is the biblical basis for inversion. Who desires to invest? Do you desire it? Therefore communicate with me in the chat. I desire to invest, how wonderful. That is correct. Today I am planning to provide you with the biblical basis for the investment. Yes, this class will serve as the basis for the inversion classes that we will begin from tomorrow. And today, in this class, you will have the opportunity to learn about the renowned law of sowing in a manner that is completely unique and unlike anything you have ever heard before. You will learn the fundamentals of investing in a Christian manner in accordance with the teachings of the Bible. This is one of multiple principles that the Bible provides guidance on when it comes to managing finances. The law of sowing is... So you're going to inquire with me, doctor. I had the impression that the shadow law was associated with the act of giving a contribution. I know that there are a lot of people who ask me like that. Well, look, actually, it also has to do with the donation. Yes, of course it does. However, in a short period of time, I will demonstrate to you that there are multiple kinds of similarities, and it is something that you have never contemplated before. The content of our class today is extremely important and extremely rich. How are the super dedicated, super dedicated? They communicate in the chat. So be quiet with me because I am going to explore a little further into this with you today, all right? Regarding the law, the appearances, and the resemblances. In this manner, you can contemplate how to utilize this, which is among the most crucial models primary biblical principles of finance that is found in the Bible, and you can implement it in your financial existence. Understood? Look, the previous seven classes are included in the playlist of the intensive program here within the YouTube channels, so you are still able to see them. However, I can only provide assurance that they will be available until Sunday. Yes, without any further guarantee. Because subsequent to that, the classes that are scheduled for this week will be taken off the airwaves at any given moment, you know? So in the event that you missed any of the previous classes, seize the opportunity to catch up, all right? And there are a lot of people asking me about investments because I know you want to learn how to invest. So today, I've chosen to begin discussing the topic of investments. However, I will inform you at this moment that tomorrow we will have an entire day of classes on inversions. And tomorrow, Saturday, is an extremely special day. The classes will be held at different times. Check it out on the intensive WhatsApp group, okay? And if you're interested in this and want to multiply the seeds that God puts in your hands, you need to make a commitment to being here. Tomorrow, I will conduct two eye-opening classes to provide insights on investment opportunities for you. And in order to prevent you from making the terrible mistakes that you have occasionally made in your life, yeah, but none of this would make sense if you do not understand the biblical principles that govern. The inversions are the foundation. Look, and the law of sowing is definitely one of those principles. I can guarantee you that. Here, I would like to start by asking you a very important and thought-provoking question. Let's go together. Yes. Where are the devoted ones? Are they here in our group? That's amazing with enthusiasm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right here, I have a question for you. Do you truly believe that money grows on trees as if it's a natural phenomenon? Do you have an opinion on trees? Yes or no? Please respond in the chat now. I am curious to know if you think money is important. Yes or no? Do you believe that money, the dog grows on trees? I would like to see your response in the comments. I am looking over here. Yes, no, please write it down for me. I am right here. Yes, let us go. Let us go together. Together, let's go together. In our class, your participation in this intensive is very important, which has a start day and an end day. After this, you will surely miss me. So I urgently need your immediate participation right now. Very good. And today I will begin discussing investments here for you.
and I will demonstrate whether money grows on trees or not. So stay with me and you will discover by the end of the class. Remember that in this intensive, I'm bringing you a complete content about finances in light of the Bible. To start experiencing a real financial transformation, have your finances under control. Get out of the red numbers, make money to spare, and invest to fulfill God's dreams in your life. If you are truly committed to your transformation, missing even a single class is something you absolutely cannot afford to do. There have been numerous and multiple classes, and each and every one of them will have a class phrase as well as a keyword, which can be likened to a puzzle piece. So make the most of this chance and obtain each individual item at no cost in order to assemble this puzzle in your financial life, all right? Now, write down the keyword because you'll need it when you request your free participation certificate, okay? So let's proceed. Oh, one more thing, extremely important. If you haven't seen or haven't written down the keyword from the previous classes, I will leave the classes still accessible. Look, I am repeating because it is important until this weekend, okay? After this weekend, all classes may be canceled. During the upcoming week, only the day classes will be available. What made me decide to do this? Because there are still many individuals who are currently joining the intensive, and I desire to provide these individuals with the chance to see all of the classes. Next week, we'll have more classes. My priority is always to value you. To you who are here, live with me. I want you to be super committed to transforming your financial life. And I know that if I leave it recorded indefinitely and available at all times, you'll never get a chance to see it. And that won't be good for you. I know this. That's why I'll have to take it off alert. And we have numerous testimonials from individuals who, simply by altering their mindset attained in this intensive program, have already succeeded in eliminating debts, making sound investments, and making improved decisions. And this is a lesson you will remember for the remainder of your life. So let's concentrate our attention on this place to be live here in class with me, all right? These days have been extremely, extremely intense for me and the entire team. But I do it with a lot of love, yes, thinking about each and every one of you here, and especially about the super committed men and women. And in a moment, I'm gonna tell you the story of someone who went through this whole learning process here. She held the belief that investing wasn't for her. Now I ask you, do you share this belief as well? Yes or no? Is investing for you or not? What is not for you? Yes? You'll say that she was super skeptical and thought that the investment wasn't for her, but she has already paid off a debt equivalent to thousands of dollars and already has money invested, and all of this in just 60 days. I am aware that it is difficult to believe, and if I had seen this many years ago, I would also find it difficult to believe. I know, but you must understand that in finances, there are numerous things you're unaware of. You don't even know what you're unaware of. And when you discover these things, everything starts to make sense. And that is how it went with our student, Lanier. Yes, Lanier, I am going to show it here soon. And also with hundreds of other people who have already been transformed, changed by all that teaching that I am bringing you here today. And look, I can put numerous videos here of students who began investing without realizing that this was also feasible for them. Talking investments today, right? And I always say there's only one condition for your transformation. Want to know what it is? Yes or no? I am going to spill the tea. We are going to have a lot of secrets in this intensive, right? We have class on secrets, class on bank secrets. Yes, so the thing is, um, I apologize, it's actually better. It is in your commitment that this matter lies and we need to address it accordingly. Yes, those who undergo transformation are the highly committed individuals who genuinely desire that change. And in case you've just arrived, you must be wondering what I mean by super committed, super committed. So let me explain it to you. 
See, those are the individuals who will observe all the classes in order, adhere to the classes of the second phase, which is the complementary Christian week. I manage my finances and they will complete the practical exercises that I will provide at no cost in the brochures and publications within the Christian Week's Facebook community. What they'll have, yes, starting from the second stage, the second stage, which is the Christian week, let's get to work. I have doubts that after experiencing all of this, you will not feel my absence. Yes, I am aware because the intensity of the program is truly overwhelming. Yes. And the best part is that it is completely free of charge. And there are individuals who can inquire, oh, but do not you possess Facebook? What is going to occur? For those who do not possess Facebook, do you believe they ought to generate an account so as to have the complete course experience? Look, having a Facebook account is free. You do not pay anything and you do not have to put any personal information of yours, okay? That is correct. In the Christian week, there are even exercise notebooks available for you to practice and post in the closed Facebook community. And the highly committed individuals are also the ones who share and bring more people to the classes, you know? And the highly committed individuals are also the individuals who do not keep the knowledge to themselves, you know? So take action now. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, follow these steps. I'm going to have a conversation with you. Please give our video a like if you could. It would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel now and then share this content with others if that's okay with you. On YouTube, you can obtain the link to the class as well as to the other classes and easily share it on your Facebook or send it to the WhatsApp groups you are a part of. For instance, those from the church. Look, additionally, even furthermore, another extremely good thing here, you have the ability to invite more individuals to view the entire event by accessing the recommendation link at cristalrico.com slash invitation comma, all right? So listen, comprehending this material today can have a life-altering effect. So it's worthwhile to send the direct link from this place to the class, right? Yes. That's why. And until this point, we've been discussing the foundation of your financial metanoia. What is financial metanoia? It refers to changing, transforming your mindset in order to thrive, prosper, and achieve success. And we have also had extensive discussions on debts in the previous classes. And we have initiated conversations about the mindset necessary to thrive as well. I witnessed numerous individuals experiencing mind-blowing moments. Yes. Yes, absolutely. It was an outstanding class. I have absolutely no doubt that it was without a doubt God removing the blindfolds from the individuals who were present and gaining a deep understanding of the content that was being taught. I told you I was going to start talking to you about investments, right? And also about financial independence in this intensive biblical finance course. So today we are going to start discussing the foundation of everything, which is the law of sowing. Just remember that tomorrow we will have two classes on investments and it is imperative that you cannot afford to miss them, right? So let's now look at the case of Lanier, right? I mentioned my student. By the way, I don't have any openings for mentoring right now. And that is completely related to the lesson that I am currently providing to you at this precise moment in time. But if a lot of people want to be my mentorship, write in the chat, I want mentorship and I'll think about it. And look at Lanier's case. Highly suspicious spoke in such a manner that I didn't believe she could initiate investments. Therefore, let's examine Lanier's situation. I am Lanier. I came here to share a bit of my story because I believe that, like me, other individuals share the same perspective. I did not believe it. I did not think it would be possible for an individual with limited funds to acquire knowledge or understand how to invest in financial markets. So I used to believe that this was something only for individuals with a substantial amount of money. So observing the television program I Control My Finances piqued my curiosity. Kind of suspicious, obviously, because I am quite suspicious, particularly since there are numerous scams, a lot of things taking place. And since I'm away from work because I'm in the high risk group and work in the healthcare field, so I'm on leave and I keep looking for things to do. And during one of those moments while browsing Facebook, I came across this program developed by the rich Christian, which caught my attention. Accordingly, I initiated a research undertaking. 
It proved to be a challenging task, given the complex nature of the circumstances, but with faith in God we can achieve things. So, I asked God to enlighten me, and if it was something meant to work out for me, I would succeed. I am grateful to God that I was able to successfully register for the course and have now commenced my studies. With difficulty, because of the day-to-day -day trying to juggle, but I managed to do it, and with the guidance I put it into practice, I started organizing myself financially, and it worked out great. It's working out great. I managed to pay a bill that was hard to pay, of 7,000 just by keeping things under control and organizing as instructed. And the investing as well. Thank God I was fortunate enough to be able to make an investment. It's not much, but I've already managed to invest 4,000. So first and foremost, I thank God and the folks at Rich Christian. Very well. May God bless everyone. Incredible. Super Lanier's case. I will go back to the question I asked you initially at the beginning of this class. Do you believe money grows on trees? Please indicate your answer. Yes or no. Write it in the chat below. Either yes or no. All right. I would like to examine some cases. Is it a yes or a no? Yes. Please come and join in. Look for the time being. I will leave you hanging with curiosity about the answer. I will provide you with the answer in a short while. Okay. This class will be one of the key pillars for your investments. So continue here in this class because it will be the basis for what we are going to construct from this point forward. Okay. I've seen that a lot of people have signed up now. So I want to remind them that this class season comes before the biggest online finance event for Christians, which is the second stage of this event, the Christian week. It's going to start next Thursday. So we will discuss the biblical principle of the law of sowing and begin establishing the foundation for investments. Take a look here. It is certain that one thing is required for sure. In order to plant, the farmer needs seeds, right? And fertile soil is necessary in order to be able to harvest the multiplication of its seeds. Do you want a yes or a yes? Yes, definitely, without a doubt. Every seed you plant will multiply. If you plant a bean seed, you will have a bean plant with an increased number of beans as the beans multiply. I hope you understand what I'm saying. This process necessitates knowledge and care in order to ensure that the fruits are produced with the highest level of quality. Isn't that right? It is insufficient to merely plant the seed and gather the fruit on the day of harvest. There is also an intermediate process of waiting and dedication in order to achieve the rewards that come with patience and perseverance. In that sense, we know that everything we sow, without a doubt, we reap. And this is an inevitable law, tough and stubborn. Yeah, take a look at your Bible now. Let's go to the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. Team, please insert Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 into the chat immediately. It is important. It is like that. Do not fool yourselves. God does not joke around because whatever a man sows, that is what he will also reap. It is written in the Bible. I'm not the one discussing that. Yeah, if you believe in the Bible, everything I'm talking about here is true for you. And God has always ensured that the seed we sow sprouts. Isn't that correct? Please consult your Bible, specifically Isaiah 30, 23. By doing so, you will discover that it will result in rainfall upon the seed that you sow on the land. Isaiah 30, verse 23. Now we move forward as well, and this is an inevitable cycle that always happened without fail and will continue to do so. Also look in your Bible, in Genesis 8 verse 22, which says this, As long as the earth lasts, the planting and harvesting, the cold and the heat, the summer and the winter, the day and the night will not cease. At present, we sow the seed, but we are unsure of which one we will ultimately harvest, right? I do not know which one we will harvest first. However, we can be certain of one thing. We will harvest it, right? In due time, for sure. Look now in your Bible as well. It is a biblical principle, correct? The law of sowing. Now, in Ecclesiastes 11 verse 6, it states like this. Sow your seed in the morning and do not cease your efforts until the evening, because you never know where you will discover success, whether it is here or there, 
or if both will be equally advantageous. More in your Bible, Psalms 126, verse 6. The individual who carries the precious seed while walking and crying will undoubtedly return with joy, bringing his bundles with him without a shadow of a doubt. The seed must be chosen by us and mixed in a careful and definite manner so that there is no confusion or room for error. There is no possibility of a middle ground. We must choose to either sow good seed or bad seed, as there are no other options available. There is no possible way. Well, let's also proceed and enter the premises using your... The Bible is now in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 9, which goes like this according to the text. And for what reason am I disclosing all of this to you? Doctor, there exists a substantial quantity of Bible verses. Why are you discussing investments, the law of sowing in this class? Why are you doing so? Look now, you can multiply wealth without a seed. Yes or yes, do you understand? Write in the chat, yeah, yeah, I am here, right? And that is the first thing you have to understand. Check out some heavy content for our class today. There are two types of seeds, type one, all natural seed. The farmer cultivates soybeans and will eventually gather the multiplied soybeans after a certain period of time. The investor invests $1 into a company and anticipates a multiplied return on this investment at a specific time in the future. To build a chain of stores, you gotta start with a seed. Certainly start a test store, yes, and invest resources to mature, develop your seed as well before starting your expansion, yes and reap the rewards as well. To get a job, for example, you have to sow the seeds too, which include preparing for the desired position, and of course, showing up for the selection processes that promote the recruiter's possibilities for this position, and much more. However, I did mention in the previous class that in the current Senate, I do not recommend searching for a job, but instead suggest searching for a source of income. Begin planting seeds to expand your reach, serving a larger audience and generating increased income from your efforts. I had a discussion about this in a previous class, right? And you will see that the natural seeds that the farmer plants take a certain amount of time to be harvested, right? So I am going to talk to you immediately about those investments that promise fast returns, correct? And this is in violation of the law of planting. I will discuss this. The type of seed, yes. There is also another type of seed referred to as the spiritual seed. Yeah, you know. And what would be the spiritual seed? It entirely depends on your faith. Yes, yes, that's absolutely correct. Aspects in the spiritual existence are propelled by faith. Faith serves as the fuel for God to take action. Jesus drew a comparison between faith and a mustard seed, emphasizing that when the seed is planted, it has the potential to yield remarkable and unexpected results. Yeah, and look, look, it's in Matthew 17, 20. Look at your Bible now. Share it, put it in the chat. In the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20, it is stated that, yes, it is like that. And Jesus communicated to them, because of your disbelief, for truly I am telling you that if you do possess faith like a mustard seed, you will express to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move according to your command. And nothing will be impossible for you. Wow, that is indeed some strong faith. Look, when we truly put our faith in God, just like a seed that we plant, we are giving him something very valuable to work with so that he can produce the miracle that you truly need in your life. Trusting in God's power and guidance enables us to overcome any challenge and experience his amazing miracles. Is it an important seed? Yes or yes? Do you possess that seed today? Yes. So proceed and write in the chat. I possess the seed of faith. Therefore, the magnitude of our faith is insignificant. If you remove uncertainty and have faith in Christ, your issues will be resolved regardless of how insurmountable they may appear. To sow your faith, we're sharing here three important biblical principles, okay? One, recognize that God is your source. Yes, this is crucial. This is mentioned in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. It is important to recognize that my God will supply all of your needs according to his glorious riches through Jesus Christ. That's in Philippians 4, 19. So now there are three important biblical principles. Recognize that God is your source and God will supply all your needs according to his riches, his love, 
his power, and his wisdom to guide us. To achieve this, you have the option to utilize various tools like jobs, businesses, gifts, offerings, friends, and more. They are tools utilized by God. An important aspect to consider is that we must exercise caution and refrain from placing our complete trust in the instruments that God employs to provide for us. Look, and this is extremely perilous. Your reliance cannot be in your business. Your trust cannot be in money, in your job, in your relative. Your trust must be in God. God is our source and it's impossible for him to fail. Now two, yeah, yeah, we're excited about it. Here we share three important biblical principles to sow your faith. To start, give and you will receive. This can be found in Luke 6, 38, where it states that by giving to others, you will be blessed by God with receiving in return. He'll be generous and the blessings he'll give you will be so many that you won't be able to hold them in your hands. The same measure you use to measure others God will use to measure you. Look, something very, very important. Lucas 6.38, look at your Bible. The donations mentioned here are not just financial, no. We can contribute love, our time, patience, forgiveness, prayers, and also monetary donations. All types of donations are spiritual seeds that we can and should plant. Our donations are a reflection of our faith and gratitude towards God. The word of God provides assurance that we are unable to give to God without receiving a much greater amount in return. Hope for a miracle and ensure you have fulfilled your responsibilities. Yeah, examine your Bible now in Mark 11. Look, when you ask God for something directed and guided by his Holy Spirit, make sure to ask for it with the expectation of receiving a clear answer, whether it is a yes or a no. It is important to be aware that God has his own timing, correct? God has his own method of providing what you have requested. Have you made a request for a response to your prayer? And it is not your path. No, it is his. It is the way of God. Just believe then regardless of how long it takes. However, there is something really important that I have to tell you here about this particular matter. Many churches teach people to only plant spiritual seeds. And what happens when you plant spiritual seeds without planting natural seeds? What is happening? I am feeling frustrated. That is truly unfortunate and it is really bad. That's why a lot of people get frustrated with God and often drift away from their faith. Because some leaders forget to guide people in also sowing natural seeds. And expecting a miracle without sowing with natural seeds goes against the principle of the law of sowing. Therefore, it is crucial to always plant with natural seeds too, in accordance with the law of God, which is an unchanging principle. Do your part. The individual who plants apples walks through apples. The individual who plants bananas walks among bananas. It is not going to be effective to gather apples and anticipate to gather bananas. Affirmative. No matter how much you use your spiritual seeds for it, no. Are they natural seeds too? Are you saying that God can't perform a miracle? Yes, of course. And turn a banana into an apple? Yes, certainly you can. Yeah, God has the ability to do anything. However, is there no reason for him to do so? And he has already taught us that we reap what we sow. It's in your word. If you have faith in the Bible, you must believe in the principle of sowing. Cease praying and requesting monetary assistance and commence praying and requesting wisdom, knowledge, and the proper utilization of your resources. I am aware that God places seeds in your hands. Concentrate on managing the resources that God has given you wisely and with care. Take steps to organize your messy finances. Seek knowledge and enroll in courses offered here to gain valuable skills and improve your financial situation. And do you have mentors who teach you this? Look, it's biblical to have mentors. Yesterday, I informed you that I pay a fortune yearly to join a high-level mentorship group with top-notch entrepreneurs. And I believe it is an act of obedience because the Bible instructs us to actively seek mentors. So it is like you have to adhere to all the principles outlined in the Bible when it comes to managing your finances. And only then, like give God your spiritual seed, your faith and your obedience, and he will completely work miracles in your life. And please tell me, who here has comprehended the distinction of what I am discussing today? Yes or yes, they write in the chat. Yeah, where are the super committed ones, super committed ones?
Yes, they frequently write in the chat, I am highly dedicated, extremely committed. May I know their current whereabouts? And in the comments section, they write the answer to a different question. Who among the readers here has understood the principle of sowing? Do you want a yes or no answer? Hey, I'm telling you, I discussed Bible verses on this topic here. And who has truly grasped it? Write it to me in the chats. Did you comprehend it? Yeah? Yeah? Yes, that's fantastic. Incredible. A large number of individuals have comprehended. Incredible. And now I will inform you in a small amount of time if money grows on trees or not, all right? However, I needed to provide you with this background, right? And there are many people out there teaching that you just have to wait for a miracle to happen. However, God does not engage with individuals who display disobedience in their actions. Do you understand? God has already instructed us to effectively manage our resources. He has already instructed us to plant organic seeds and increase their quantity. Yes or no? If you don't obey, would it make sense to expect a miracle from God? No, because you're not pulling your weight. This occurs often with students who join my mentorship in the full program, I Control My Finances. When they decide to organize their finances, having their finances under control, right? And they pay the price for it, for making such a decision. When you give God a signal that, yes, you are going to dedicate yourself to being good stewards, miracles start to happen. And why does this happen? It happens because of the faith and commitment shown. Because God honors those who obey and correct themselves, correct? And these individuals have made mistakes, correct? Just like I made many mistakes in my financial life, I am aware of this. Therefore, do not worry if you have messed up at some point in your life. Now you have to get your act together starting from this moment and demonstrate to God that you are going to be someone reliable and trustworthy with the resources, with the seeds that he puts in your hands, showing him that you can be counted on. A large number of my mentees upon comprehending this express regret and make adjustments to their behavior accordingly. Yes, and currently they are experiencing the consequences of regretting their failure to alter their behavior. And when people take that step, it is truly beautiful to witness that God begins to manifest extraordinary miracles in their lives as well. Look, now acquire ownership of the concepts I am imparting to you during this instructional session. I know that God is talking to you a lot in this class. What I can tell you today is that we have received a bunch of testimonies but this only happens because the people who have transformed themselves have been committed to this change. They have paid the price of being present. They are excessively dedicated to transforming their financial situation. And speaking of the highly dedicated, I would like to ascertain who among you are truly committed, correct? And please type it in the comments section right now in the chat. Yes, it is me. It is really me. Hashtag super dedicated, super dedicated, right? Remember that the super dedicated don't keep knowledge just for themselves, but they share it with others. Go ahead and like the video, then share this class with your acquaintances, okay? Now I want to invite you to reflect. Let's proceed ahead with the content. Look, I have a query for you. What natural and spiritual seeds have you planted and nurtured in your life's journey? So I will reinforce it here for you. No, yes, it is of no use planting spiritual seeds if you do not plant natural seeds. Do you understand? Is that clear to you? Have you grasped the concept? That is the reason why it is important to do both things, you know? Carry out what God instructs you in his word so that you do not become frustrated with him. People become frustrated with God because of a lack of understanding, but the reality is that he is just and will never act contrary to what is stated in his word. At this moment, the money is growing. I pose a question to you. Does money really grow on trees? Please provide a simple answer. Yes or no. Look, observe what is happening. What generally happens in financial life is that many individuals spend the seeds that God puts in their hands instead of planting them for future growth and prosperity. Yes, yes. And how can it be? How can a farmer expect beans to grow if he spends or wastes his bean seeds? It is not possible for beans to grow without proper care and utilization of the seeds. The farmer must invest time and effort in nurturing the seeds to ensure a successful harvest. How can anyone anticipate or foresee money to grow on trees if they spend or squander the seed money that God placed or bestowed in their hands? And he doesn't even bother to plant his seed. Do you understand the importance of this financial transformation? 
Is it a yes or a no? It is crucial that you alter your mindset. And that is the reason why I'm conducting this intensive free class for you at this present moment. If you've been following the intensive biblical finance course from the start, you'll have noticed that in each class, I sow a seed for you, for your transformation. And do you know how? To give you all this content and the word of the day, which are key for you to go through this first transformation. Remember that here we are in a warm up in preparation for the content that will come in the second stage, which is the Christian week I control my finances, which will be hands on because we will have exercises, reinforcement classes. Yes, I required you to possess this base at this location. Therefore, I will provide you with additional information regarding the content of today. Is it possible to have money trees? Yes, indeed it is. You can definitely bet that it is. But listen, it is possible that while you are sleeping, your money tree and your money plant keep bearing fruit for you. Yeah, providing a continuous source of wealth. And if you desire to possess money-making plants, you must initiate by searching for the know-how to acquire the skills on how to cultivate and nurture your trees effectively. If you plant the seed improperly, you won't be able to harvest. And what exactly is a money tree? Could you please provide a clear explanation? This is the problem at hand. There exist multiple categories of earnings in your financial existence. The two primary ones are labor income. Yes, indeed. And what exactly constitutes income that is derived from work? What is the duration of your work availability? What are the consequences if you lose your job? Do you have the freedom to dedicate more time to God or to the things you desire to do? And let me inform you, the less fortunate solely seek income through work. Then they lose their job and they believe they are victims. But in reality, they are not. They just didn't bother to search for this next type of investment that I'm going to inform you about now, which is the kind of income that the wealthy are pursuing. Pay attention. This is extremely significant. It is passive income. Indeed, income generated from their money trees. Take a look here. Yeah, yeah, all of the content is significant. It is valuable gold content for you. You should reconsider your decision at this very moment. That is absolutely correct. In all seriousness, the money tree is a valuable possession that generates earnings without requiring employment or 100% commitment. I mean, it is the money tree that generates passive income for you. Do you recall the discussion we had in the assets class? Yeah, so have a look. Money trees are merely assets, nothing more, nothing less, just like that. Some examples of assets generate passive income for you. For example, rented properties, stocks that generate dividends, a website that generates income, and much more. And recall something extremely significant. A crisis is a moment of opportunity, and there can be crises in your life. Currently, there is a large number of individuals providing valuable assets at a significantly reduced price. Yes, in times of economic crisis, for instance, you have to be prepared for the opportunities. There is a large investor in the stock market who stated that he was capitalized and prepared to purchase good stocks while numerous others were selling them. And a multitude of actions that are fractions of a company coexist and generate passive income. I will tell you all about it in tomorrow's class. You cannot miss it about investments. Who wants to be an investor, even with a little money? Yes, please write in the chat. I am going to talk about this in tomorrow's class. Yes, so you can ask me now, but doctor, how do you build a money tree? Do you want to know? I will explain the process of building a money tree during our discussion in class tomorrow. All things that are planted in fertile soil with the necessary care in planting will be harvested and multiplied in abundance. As I have mentioned before, if you sow a bean seed, it will grow into a tree that will yield a multiplication of this seed, providing you with a bountiful harvest of beans that will meet your needs and bring you great satisfaction. If you understand the law of sowing, all you have to do with the money seeds that God puts in your hands is to start planting money trees in fertile soil. Imagine planting a money seed and it grows into a money tree that generates this multiplied money seed for you to harvest and reap the benefits of. 
So now envision that you plant a multitude of trees and those trees produce a significantly larger amount of monetary seeds. If you take proper care of them, you will see that those trees will eventually reach a stage where you won't have to plant any more of them. You will not need to work and you will still have your fruits. In other words, you will have enough money to sustain yourself without requiring to exchange your time for work. Do you understand? At that moment, you'll have free time to dedicate your life to doing things you enjoy and also to serve God with more time. That is correct. You can completely devote yourself to your calling as well. But in order to accomplish it, you need to possess the wisdom. What do you have to do as wisdom? Look, sowing or planting, yes, that's it. Harvest, yes, and multiply. You got to have wisdom for the three steps. I'm going to repeat because it's important. Participate in the activities of planting, harvesting, and multiplying. We will designate this as financial wisdom within the scope of this discussion. The more the farmer knows about planting and harvesting, the more he can multiply his seeds, no doubt. And bringing this to our financial lives today, the more financial wisdom we have, the easier it will be to multiply the money God puts in our hands. Yes or yes. Yeah, do you understand this? Yes, but now you can talk. But doctor, where should I invest my money? I will begin informing you about this tomorrow as you are highly proficient in this class. And tomorrow I am going to inform you about the places where you should not invest. I am going to debunk certain beliefs about investments that you may have. And this is of utmost importance in one of the morning classes. But first, I want you to understand that the best asset you can buy, the best seed you can plant, the best investment you can make is in education so that you can become a better farmer of your money trees. I have no doubts about this. And do you think that makes sense to you? Yes. The more you know how to plant trees, the better you'll be. Agree? Yes. That's the way it is with money as well. They are seeds. The greater your knowledge about money, the more you will be capable of making money multiply. So I recommend investing in education to earn more. It's a totally different kind of education. I'm not talking about going to college or anything like that. I'm talking about learning to better manage finances, learning about investments. People who have graduated and have their financial life in a total mess can even have a degree. But I don't know if you have your finances under control. Today, right after I finished school, I was a total mess, thinking I could solve my problems by earning more money, a huge mistake that I soon realized. But it was through practice and my experiences and with the various mentorships and courses I took that I learned how to have more money the right way and to multiply the seeds that God puts in my hands. And you, tell me, I want to know now about you. Do you really want to pay the price of following this path that me and several of my students have walked? Affirmative or negative? So similar to tomorrow, affirmative, affirmative, I will commence discussing investments. I want to see all of you around here, okay? At two different times. However, the class is not over yet. I have additional important information that I will now share with you and also today. Look, I'm going to tell you one of the most important teachings about financial life that reflects the law of multiplication taught by Jesus, which is another biblical principle of finances. Yeah, look, in the biblical finance intensive, I am instructing you on several biblical finance principles. Up to this point, you must have understood that God is the source of everything we have. Our time, our family, our presence, as well as our finances and monetary resources all he provides us with are talents. And he instructs us in the subsequent parable about the significance of multiplying our talents or our coins. Check Bible now. Look at your Bible now. We're getting to end of our class. Look now at Matthew 25, verses 14 through 30. You must read it as homework, homework after our class. The content of Matthew 25, verses 14 to 30, which specifically addresses the parable of the talents. However, be cautious not to manage your money in the same manner as the wicked and lazy employee did in the parable of the talents. 
I want to ask you about this as homework. Look at your Bible, Matthew 25, 14 to 30. And this is a crucial law for achieving financial prosperity. Who desires to have peace and stability in their financial situation? So he begins to give testimony. I possess financial peace. I possess peace. I have peace. And this is really important. If you clearly order us to multiply the talents that God gives us, is the application of this law of multiplication very important, both in material and spiritual aspects? And look, in order to multiply our money, a good financial education is essential. We can multiply through investments, yes, which will also help us become very financially savvy. And this is one of the things I teach my mentees in the complete program, I have control over my finances, which is my mentoring program. In addition to topics like getting out of debt, having finances under control, and increasing income, we also work on strategies for investments in a more profound way. I've seen that a lot of people ask, how do you get into mentoring? And the truth is that I don't have any vacancies right now. The class is at maximum capacity and my schedule is extremely limited, correct? However, please stay tuned, engage in the Christian week, and once a spot becomes available, I will inform you, all right? But if there are many individuals inquiring here, if you desire, type in the chat, I want mentoring, correct? I will investigate this. And look, one very important thing, tomorrow I'll delve into the topic of investments. Who wants to know more about investments? Yes, do you want to? But the truth is that now all you have to do is possess the determination to utilize the benefits of this intensive program. And you may possibly be thinking, how am I going to commence investing if I am loaded with debts and have absolutely no money at all? However, the reality is that this is the same situation for the majority of my mentees. How did my student Lice perform? Now let's examine Lice's case. Hello, my name is Lais Faganello and I've been walking for the past 10 years of my life because of the challenges we face, a very big financial crisis, until I reached a point where I didn't know what to do anymore. I had nowhere to go. And at that moment, while praying, I came across the rich Christian on social media. And immediately I signed up for the Bible Finance Intensive. And I started with a lot of discipline. I was very determined. I really watched all the classes, putting into practice everything I was learning. And already in the first stage of the course, I achieved a tremendous result. I managed to raise the amount of our dollar 3,259.88, and that made a total difference in my life. And I learned that what will change my life is what I don't even know that I don't know. And that's when I decided to do the full program with mentoring. Guys, it was the best decision I ever made because it was a game changer in my life. How knowledge transforms us, right? Knowledge sets us free and it brings us clarity. And then I finally grasped exactly where I am and where I'm going. So it's a process. There's no way we can skip the step. But I have already achieved numerous results from my approach to work to observing my business. Everything is completely different now. And today I see new opportunities. I was already on a tight budget, but I cut another $214.20, totaling $2,570.40 per year. Then I got a discount of R$6,318 in a negotiation that kept me up at night. That's because during the negotiation with access to the bank's secrets, our position is different, you know? So I managed to get this discount. I was really happy. I learned about investments. And today I'm already starting to take my steps in this area to build my investment portfolio. So I expressed that truly knowing rich Christian was a game changer that had a profound impact on me. And as we begin implementing it, taking action, doing what is within our capabilities, we start witnessing the responses from God because he accomplishes what is beyond our reach. So I am truly thankful to Rodrigo, Dr. Taylor, and the entire team of- Unbelievable. The bank gave him back $1,500, cut expenses, and started investing in just 60 days. It was his determination to follow each step one by one. And you should do the same in this intensive program. And look, a lot of people ask me, how much should I set aside to invest? Do I need a lot of money to invest? Is it possible to invest with little? I'm going to show you this in practice during one of the Christian week events called I Control My Finances, which is the second stage of our intensive biblical finance program. It is a private and free event exclusively for those who have registered. And if you haven't signed up yet, 
please check out the link below this video. And in this class, I will aid you in changing your mindset. During the event, we will begin to get down to business and focus on practical strategies for success. And ultimately, the phrase of the day is, there is no harvest without sowing. I reiterate, the expression emphasized in the class is that there can be no harvest without sowing. In the upcoming ninth class, yes, I will be discussing investments as the main topic of conversation. In the PM, the awful ways to invest for someone who wants to have their finances in check. So tomorrow in the ninth class, I'm going to tell you and explain where you shouldn't invest, where you shouldn't put your money. It is an excellent class. Super. And in the 10th class, I will inform you about the best investment. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Who wants to know this information? Chat, I want to write. However, please note that merely desiring to see the 10th grade will not yield any results as I will be covering the fundamentals in the 9th grade. Is that clear? See you tomorrow in two classes for another incredible and enlightening moment of learning about finances from the perspective of the Bible, all right? And today's keyword is seed. Team, put in the chat right now. The keyword for today is seed. Now I bid you farewell with see you soon and God bless you. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. Because after the rich Christian, I start to see life in a different way. My financial problems were fading away. A mortgage on my house, which I would take another eight years to pay off. I tell you that today I own a paid off house. There are several other debts that were troubling me and having the ability to do something that had not occurred in years in my life. Having extra money, having extra money of mine, my money never used to be extra. So managing to have some extra to invest as advised by the rich Christian in the portfolio we are following, following the completion of the course, I successfully managed to have some money left over from my salary, which was an achievement I hadn't been able to accomplish for a number of years. I managed to pay off the debts, a debt of 23,958, if I'm not mistaken at the time. In a span of 60 days, I managed to completely pay off this debt. This to me was an invaluable accomplishment that I can't put a price on. In addition to that debt, later on, I also paid off another debt. So for me, this was crucial. So at this point in time, now that I have a certain amount of money left over from my salary, I started making an investment as well. I began investing some money and I did not have a car. I used to walk. I have a car now. It is not a fancy one, but I have a car in my garage now. This, in my opinion, is absolutely priceless. Wow, what an overwhelming feeling. I am filled with immense happiness and gratitude. I state that the wealthy Christian was positioned in my existence at a critical juncture. It was of utmost importance. So the rich Christian was truly remarkable. It compelled me to completely empty myself and wholeheartedly believe that those incredible people were there to provide unwavering support, invaluable mentorship, and invaluable guidance on how to truly eliminate debts, achieve a well-balanced financial life, make wise investments, generate additional income, unearth hidden talents, and gain clarity on my desired path in life. I've already organized myself. I no longer have to borrow from loan sharks. I no longer have the private shops and businesses I had before because it was getting difficult. Everything is under control. My financial life is completely under control. I don't have that worry. One of the things I constantly had was power cuts. I couldn't handle it. Today, I don't have. Sometimes I see a cutting car passing by and I breathe like this. Then I don't have. I'm calm. Everything is up to date. The year 2020 was the first year that ended, that I ended with 1,500 reis. I can say, thanks to the rich Christian, I'm at peace. I can have a much calmer financial life. Financially, I'm not a slave to finances. The debts already existed, car financing, still paying for it. So there were quite a few things there, open debts, paying for land in installments, right? So that bar where we stayed, wow. And now what are we going to do, right? And that's when I started studying. I started the course slowly and began to see the transformations, many transformations. Reduction in bills, surprisingly, I learned to do extra activities that we didn't even pay attention to before because we were in our comfort zone. So I acquired new skills and knowledge. I established an online store through the course where they educate us on the importance of continuous self-improvement, undergoing a shift in mindset, thoughts and attitudes, 
and constantly striving to better ourselves. And that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So with each step I took within the course, I saw the changes. And in the end, it was success, total success, both material and spiritual. It was wonderful. I had some loans which were insured. And there we learned how to reduce these loans, how to pay, how to pay off these loans. And we kept practicing this exercising control. For us, it wasn't enough to do things halfway. It only served us to do it right, to do it completely. Today, I am able to sleep in peace. The complete transformation in our lives has been absolutely incredible and utterly profound. I initiated the story by discussing the debts I had. And presently, we are actively engaged in the process of making investments. My dear friend and partner in this venture, we are investors. At this moment, we were able to contribute and provide assistance to individuals in need, which is also a very impressive principle that makes a difference in people's lives. Today, I feel at peace. Today, I sleep peacefully. We still face our life's challenges. It doesn't stop. But today, I can plan, organize myself to achieve, reaching new things every day.